Today I'm going to show you how you can save real estate on your reports by using text cards just like this one. In this scenario, I wanted to add information about the top three industry sectors. So the first measure that I needed was the one to calculate the total sales based on total individual sales for the current year. The next measure was the one calculating the same total sales but for the previous year and the sole difference was adding a minus one after the selected year. Next I wanted to show the year over year growth percentage and I created the measure that was pretty much combining the first two measures and returned the year over year growth percentage. But just having the numbers was not enough. I still needed a way to present that information and creating a measure that returns a text was the solution. And if you watched any of my previous videos you know I like to work with variables because they are calculated only once, but then they can be used multiple times across the measure without having to calculate them again. First up is the selected year. Then I formatted the sales for the current year and for the previous year to be shown in millions. Next I formatted the year over year growth percentage measure to show the absolute value and in the format that I needed. Then I created a variable for when the year over year growth percentage was negative and one for when the year over year growth percentage was positive. The only difference between the two variables being the middle part. And the final result was obtained by using the switch function. Going back to the report I added the card visual and added my text measure to it. First I turned off the category label as I did not need it. Next I adjusted the font and its size and for the font color I used the basic measure that changed the color to green when the year over year growth percentage was positive and red when the year over year growth percentage was negative. Then I changed the background color for the card and that was that. But then I wanted to add even more information and I said why not add the top product for the same top three industry sectors. So for that I needed two new measures, one that returned the top product sold for the top three industry sectors and one that returned the total sales for that top product. I then had to add two more variables to my text measure, the top product and the sales for the top product in the format that I needed. Then I added a line break to my text by using the unicar function and added the rest of the information for both the negative and the positive variables. And the result looked like this, with dynamic results, text and color, and all that while reducing the space needed in the report. This exact principle can be used across multiple visuals just like this line chart over here. This is Telian signing off, until next time, like, subscribe, you know the drill. Cheerio!